We've looked at how logic circuits can be drawn as diagrams with inputs and outputs. Another way of representing these is to draw a circuit as a truth table. Truth tables are used to show the outputs of a logic gate and of logic circuits. We create them by drawing out a table with columns for each of the inputs and outputs in our logic circuit. The table also needs to have enough rows to represent every single possible combination of inputs. For example, if you have two inputs, which are always binary numbers, then we can have the following combinations. 00, 01, 10 and 11. So we would need four rows in our truth table. Truth tables become extremely important as we start designing larger circuits to help us to be able to identify exactly what outputs are produced from these combination of gates. Let's start by creating a truth table for a NOT gate. We have seen previously how a NOT gate is represented as a logic diagram. There is only one possible input, which can either be a 1 or a 0. So our truth table will look like this. That's all there is to it. If you input a 1, the output is 0. If you input a 0, the output is 1. The truth table has one input that can have two possible combinations, so there are two rows in the truth table. We can also express our logic gates using Boolean algebra, where we write down the logic of our gate as a Boolean expression. If we want to write this as a Boolean expression, we can write it as Q equals not X. Alternatively, we could use a Boolean expression operator. This uses an overbar to represent a NOT gate, so our Boolean expression written using a Boolean operator would be this. Now let's create a truth table for an AND gate. We have seen that an AND circuit is two switches one after the other. Only if both switches are shut will the light go on. If the light is on, that means we have an output of 1. We drew this as an AND gate in a logic diagram like this. For this truth table, we can see that we have two inputs with two possible combinations, so we have four rows in the truth table. The way to build a truth table is you need to write down all of the number of combinations of inputs we can have. As we have two inputs of binary numbers, each of these can be a 1 or a 0, so all of the combinations would look like this. Once we set up our truth table with our inputs, we can then write out our outputs. Remember, with an AND gate, we only get an output of 1 if both inputs are 1, otherwise it outputs a 0. If we wanted to write this as a Boolean expression, we can write it as Q equals X and Y. Much like with NOT gates, we can use a Boolean expression operator instead. This uses a full stop to represent an AND gate, so our Boolean expression written using a Boolean operator would be this. Let's create a truth table for an OR gate. We have seen that an OR gate is two switches in parallel. If one of the switches are closed, the light will go on. We drew this as an OR gate in a logic diagram like this. For this truth table, we again need to write down all of the number of combinations of inputs that we can have. As it has two inputs, it has the same combinations as we had for the AND gate. Once we set up our truth table with our inputs, we can then write out our outputs. Remember, with an OR gate, we get an output of 1 if one or both inputs are 1. Otherwise, it outputs a zero. If we wanted to write this as a Boolean expression, we can write it as Q equals X or Y. The Boolean expression operator for an OR gate is a plus symbol. So our Boolean expression written using a Boolean operator would be this. We have seen how an exclusive OR gate is represented as a logic diagram. For this truth table, we again need to write down all of the number of combinations of inputs that we can have. As it has two inputs, it has the same combinations as we had for the AND and OR gates. Once we set up our truth table with our inputs, we can then write out our outputs. 
Remember, with an exclusive OR gate, we get an output of 1 if only one input is 1. Otherwise, it outputs 0. If we wanted to write this as a Boolean expression, we can write this as Q equals X, X or Y. The Boolean expression operator for an exclusive OR gate is a circled plus symbol. So our Boolean expression written using a Boolean operator would be this. So, truth tables are ways of summarizing the output of an input to a logic circuit. When completing a truth table, we should first identify all possible combinations of inputs. The output of a not truth table is the opposite of the input. The output of an and truth table is 1 when both inputs are 1, otherwise it is 0. The output of an OR truth table is 0 when both inputs are 0, otherwise it is 1. The output of an exclusive OR truth table is 1 when 1 but not both inputs are 1, otherwise it is 0.